What's up guys, I'm Ace, and today we're going to be breaking down what is quite possibly the best perk in Black Ops 4 multiplayer, and this is Tac Mask. Tac Mask protects against so many really annoying things in this game, like nine banks, as well as concussions, fire, reactor cores, razor wire, and even counter UAVs. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the effect that Tac Mask has on each of these items that it counters. Now first up we have concussion grenades. Admittedly, you don't really see too many concussion grenades at this point in the game's life cycle because they are unlocked fairly late and also they take up a class point, so not many people are using concussions and they're also really not all that powerful. You can still see very very well when you're stunned, but this is what it looks like when you do not have tack mask equipped. It lasts for roughly 6 seconds or so and it does slow your aim down a little bit, it makes it so you're a bit disoriented and it also slows your movement speed down. Now let's have a look at what happens when you get hit by concussion with TAC Mask equipped. As you can see here, it's pretty much the same effect, like you still get stunned the same way, but it just lasts for about half the time. It only lasts for about three and a half seconds, so it still lasts a bit more than half the amount of time it would take without TAC Mask, but it is a relatively effective counter to that. Next up we have Razor Wire, and if you try to go through Razor Wire without TAC Mask equipped, you still can make it through alive, but you're going to take 110 damage, so quite a bit of damage going through that. You're going to be basically one bullet away from death or two bullets from an SMG. However, when you have TAC Mask equipped, if you run through Barbed Wire, you take significantly less damage. It still takes you roughly the same amount of time to get through, but you only take 55 damage instead of 110 damage, so it actually cuts the amount of damage that you receive in half when you're going through Barbed Wire. Next up we have the reactor core, and the reactor core, if you're not using TAC Mask, will kill you in two and a half seconds, which is quite fast. It doesn't give you much time to get away from it. But with TAC Mask equipped, it takes now four seconds to get the kill on you, so it gives you a little bit of extra time to get out of there. But keep in mind, once you get out of that range, assuming you survive, you won't be able to heal for 15 seconds, and that's regardless of whether or not you have TAC Mask equipped. TAC Mask has no effect whatsoever on your recovery time when you're either burned or you get hit by a reactor core. As for the purifier, based on my testing here, TAC Mask essentially makes it so you take roughly half the amount of damage per tick or per hit marker that he would get as he's burning you with the reactor core. You take half the amount of damage, but the purifier's rate of fire, I guess you could call it, is so high that if you get within close quarters, TAC Mask isn't going to save you at all against a purifier. It's still going to kill you practically instantly. So I wouldn't say that TAC Mask is a super effective counter for somebody with a purifier. Moving on to countering Profit, first up we have his Seeker Shock Drone, which without TAC Mask will hold you in place, assuming you miss the real-time event where you press square to cancel out that animation. There is that little bit of counterplay to it. If you hit square at the perfect time as it hits you, you can get out of that really quickly, even without TAC Mask. But assuming you miss that, it will hold you in place for 6 seconds, which is a fairly long time in Call of Duty terms. With TAC Mask equipped, I am not hitting square in this clip, it essentially does that event for you where it will simply like pull the cable out of your body and therefore the effect will only last for roughly two seconds. So Tac Mask is a very effective counter to the Seeker drone. Next up, sticking with Profit, we have the Tempest and without Tac Mask equipped, the Tempest will put you down on the ground, it will shock you and it will deal 101 damage to you. You'll be on the ground for seven seconds and all you can do is kind of crawl around a little bit. And in that time, you're very vulnerable and you could be very easily finished off. When you have TAC Mask, you still end up going down on the ground on your knees there, but you only end up taking 36 damage, and you're only on the ground for 4 seconds instead of 7 seconds. So you do get up much faster, you don't have to deal with that for nearly as long, but keep in mind the first shot, even though it only does 36 damage, if he shoots you again with the Tempest when you're on the ground, it will immediately finish you off. It won't just deal another 36 damage to you. It will still kill you, just like if you didn't have TAC Mask equipped. Having said that, I would say it's still a pretty effective counter against the Tempest because you're only down for 4 seconds instead of 7, and you barely take any damage from the first shot. Moving on to the Molotov, you can actually run directly through a Molotov even without Tac Mask. You will take a considerable amount of damage though, you'll take 112 damage, and you'll have to wait 15 seconds before you can heal again. With Tac Mask equipped, you only take 48 damage, but once again, you still have to wait that entire 15 seconds before you can heal. So it's still not recommended to run through flames, even with Tac Mask equipped. Now I did the math on the amount of damage per tick as well, so the amount of damage per hit marker with the flames, and once again, Tac Mask will cut that damage profile in half. Normally you take 16 damage per tick without Tac Mask, but with Tac Mask you only take 8. Getting into the next thing, which doesn't look like it really should belong with Tac Mask, but it does, 
Tack Mask also counters the counter UAV. If an enemy calls a counter UAV in without Tack Mask, you'll see that it scrambles your radar for 25 seconds. When you have Tack Mask on there, the counter UAV simply doesn't work against you. You have your minimap completely available, and it's like that counter UAV didn't even exist. So finally, this brings us to the big one and probably the most annoying one that I've found at least on the list. This is the nine bang. What does tack mask do against that? So without tack mask, a fully charged nine bang, if it lands fairly close to you, you'll see that it stuns you a lot. You put your left hand up in front of your face. All you can really do is hip fire your gun. You can't heal, you can't crouch, you can't go prone, you can't do anything like that, but you can move around at a roughly standard speed, and also you can turn your aim at a roughly standard speed as well. This lasts for roughly six seconds without tack mask. With tack mask equipped, you still get affected pretty hard by that, like you still can't see for a little while, and your hand is up in front of your face so you can't do any of those actions, but it only lasts for three and a half seconds instead of six seconds. So it does help considerably against a nine bang, but having said that, it isn't a full-on counter to the nine bang. They will still have a pretty clear leg up in that gunfight as long as they capitalize on it quickly. So there we have it. That's going to wrap it up for all of the things that Tack Mask counters in this game, or at least all of the things that are listed. Perhaps there's a couple other things that they don't list within the perk description that Tack Mask will help you with. But I did test everything that they had on the list there. And as you can see, it's a fairly effective counter to a lot of very annoying and frustrating things in multiplayer. As a result, at least for somebody that's a strong objective player, if you're really in the action, you're really in the fight, and you're often affected by these things, Tack Mask is extremely effective and will save your life in a lot of situations. When you compare it to a lot of the other perks in this game, which I feel a lot of the perks in this game are kind of lackluster, I would say that Tack Mask is absolutely one of the best perks to use in multiplayer. Of course though, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think of Tack Mask? Do you agree with me? Do you think it is one of the better perks that you can use in multiplayer? And also, did any of the results here surprise you? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.